Hi everyone, it's Janine here with Tranquil Rose. I just wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about mental health and what Reiki can do for mental health. Um, it is becoming something that's more talked about here in Canada for sure, um, which is something to celebrate because mental health, mental illness is um, very, very serious. It's, it's something that um, a lot of people struggle with on their daily lives. I know that I've had times where I've had some pretty serious um, anxiety in the past and it can really make life hard. Uh, it can debilitate you. It can cause you to not want to go to work. It can cause you to not want to go to the grocery store. It's um, pretty harsh. So Reiki is very, very, very effective with anxiety and, and stress. Um, some of the more serious mental health issues, I would say, um, not just to rely on any kind of healing, natural, holistic healing, and to be working with your um, healthcare practitioner because um, it's not the end all, and I, I definitely don't recommend um, foregoing um, proper medical care. But um, we can work with your um, your doctor in um, you know aiding for sure. Um, we work with the chakras, so a lot of the times uh, when you have really serious um, stress or anxiety issues, it has to do with one of your chakras being um, having a big block in it. And blocks are definitely not something that, um, like, you go, cut off energy. A block is like, it's, it's impeding the energy flow in your body, and what it does is, you know, physically, it... Um, it blocks energy and it ends up s stimulating um, stress and anxiety depending on what chakra it is, um, especially your your solar plex in your heart. Um, when your heart chakra has a block in it, you can really um, spiral out of control. And you know, us as Reiki practitioners can easily bring that flow back in because that's, you know, that's what we practice. That's what we're, we're doing is we learn to be a, a channel, a conduit for this energy and learn where to put it and how to send it. So, you know, through, um, taking courses, we are given what is called an attunement and symbols that help us connect. So that's how we can do online sessions is um, we're given a distance symbol and it, you know, um, the universe doesn't have um, time and space restrictions. So by connecting with this symbol to you, we're directly connecting to your energy and your your field, your aura, your aura and everything, and we can you know divinely send some some energy healing to you. So, um, mental health is something that we should be talking about for sure. It's near near and dear to my heart. I know that my mother suffered with it for for many many years because of a lot of trauma in her um, her childhood, and you know. Being natives, uh, my mother went through residential school and that was something that was really, really, really hard on a lot of native people. So, um, well, I should say indigenous is the new um, politically correct term. So um, it was it was something that was not easy on her and it affected her whole entire life. Um, I believe that it was um, a little bit of a um, something that she signed on to when she came into this life. Um, it wasn't easy and she was a, you know, she was a fighter and as a result she had a lot of like bipolar disorder and a lot of disorders from, you know, long-term chakras being, being blocked and, and the energy flow not being right. Like it, it can be as simple as unblocking a chakra for, for us to do for you. And you'll notice a difference, um, physically and mentally, emotionally. Um, a lot, like the number one biggest thing with Reiki that people are saying that they feel is calm, a calmness after, like for me, it was, um, 
it was so weird. Like when I first went to my teacher and I had my first attunement, which is still a healing, um, I just felt like this overwhelming, like warm kind of hug almost of energy. And I just went from like, um, naturally a little bit uppity and agitated to very, very calm and centered. Centered was a, a good description for that. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get a couple people that I've done some Reiki sessions for on here. It's just some people are really shy. So, so they can describe their actual, um, uh, experience with my specific Reiki. Um, every Reiki healer, like if you, if you can't come to me, then I, I recommend you go to any local Reiki healer because it is divine and it's, it's more near to, and dear to my heart that you get the healing that you need than that it's specifically with me. I just want people to be happy and healthy. So, um, if you struggle with some severe anxiety, it's definitely something that um, you can send me a message and, you know, we can open the, the conversation about it because um, it's not something that you have to struggle with. It's not something that you have to um, continue to um, have on a daily basis that's, you know, impeding your life, that's making you not even want to go to the grocery store. Because I know I used to be so bad that grocery, going to the grocery store was like, um, a panic for me. I, I didn't like it and I still don't love it. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't suffer in the same way. I've, I really like with Reiki self treatments, I've, I've really centered myself and, um, part of being a healer is I've worked really, really hard to, um, heal myself and I'm still always going to be a work in progress, but, um, the more and more I, get down to the root problems and, and, um, release them and get them out and get myself a, a healthy physical body, uh, the better healer I'm going to be for you guys. So I definitely am doing the work and, um, I encourage you to send me a message, please. If you're, um, really, really stressed out, you know, it's simple. You just do a Reiki treatment and, um, it lasts, you know, sometimes for a week you're, you're getting the healing. It's, it all depends on the, the person and the situation. Um, a lot of people feel the after effects, um, up to a week, two weeks, some people a month, um, after. So it's not just, oh, I feel good for a day and then I'm, you know, back to normal. Sometimes it is, it just depends on you. So, um, I encourage you to try it out. Please send me a message and we can work on your stress and anxiety. Um, we can work on, you know, more severe issues. If you have Bible, bipolar and some other mental health issues, I just strongly advise that you still be working with your healthcare practitioner because, um, holistic healing is definitely very, very effective, but, um, there are some cases where, um, med medicines are needed and only your healthcare practitioner is going to be able to do that for you. So, um, I just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, blurring lines and stuff, but, you know, I just wanted to hop on and talk about, you know, mental health as it's something that, um, is near and dear to my heart. And I really want to, let people know that, you know, that's something that Reiki can do for you. So I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you enjoyed the, um, lunar eclipse. I missed it because I was feeling the energy so strongly that I couldn't sleep last night. So getting up early, I, I, I completely slept in. So here's to the, the super blue moon. Have a good day.